Hi guys, my name is Jeff and thank you for checking out my channel, Films at Home. Today we have an exciting 4K release to do for you. This is the new 40th anniversary edition of Grease on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. This is a new remastered uh, 4K transfer, so there's going to be a, hopefully a nice improvement over the Blu-ray picture. Also some new audio elements and some new bonus content, so there's a lot to unpack here. Um, before we get started, if you are interested in other Blu-ray, 4K reviews, collection videos, updates, things like that, definitely subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. You'll be notified of all the latest content. Uh, but without further ado, let's play the intro and get started on this review. Alright, so after checking this out on my 4K TV with HDR, uh, the first couple improvements that I immediately noticed in picture quality were the improved resolution really made a difference in the new transfer is a big difference over the Blu-ray in my opinion. I thought the Blu-ray was a pretty soft transfer. It was never remastered, so it was probably just ported over from the DVD onto the Blu-ray in HD. They never really took a lot of care or time with that. On this version, totally different. The 4K resolution looks incredible. You can still see some of the film grain, but it's not too soft and it's not too grainy. It really looks like a nice brand new presentation as if you were in the theater watching this on a film projector. Um, it's probably the best experience that I've seen of an older movie in 4K that's had a new transfer like this. Very, very well done by Paramount Pictures uh, who sent me this for review. So I'm thoroughly impressed with that. The HDR is also really nice. This has Dolby Vision. My TV does not support Dolby Vision. I have just the regular HDR10, but if you have a Dolby Vision TV, I'm sure this is even better. The HDR on my end was incredible. Colors pop, especially during the uh, nighttime sequences, the black leather jackets, the pink jackets, uh, the dance scene towards the middle of the movie, and then the carnival scene at the end where there's a lot of color and it's outside and everyone's wearing you know, the colorful dresses that they wear throughout the movie. Things just pop off the screen and it's really, really well done from a picture quality standpoint. One of my top five uh, 4K movies of the year, I would say so far, and maybe the best new transfer that we've gotten out of this format, which is exactly what you're looking for if you're gonna upgrade from Blu-ray to 4K. You want something new, you want something different. They did a great job with this. Highly, highly recommend it for picture quality alone. Now, talking about the audio, this has a Dolby True HD 5.1 surround soundtrack, which is the same type of audio mix that was found on the previous Blu-ray, but it is not the same exact mix. So Paramount went back, they took the original audio elements, they cleaned some stuff up, they added some things in that were missing from the older track, some smaller sound effects, background noise, uh, conversations that you didn't previously hear on the Blu-ray, you're gonna hear on the 4K. Uh, it's as true as they've ever been audio-wise, and the music sounds much better in my opinion. I don't know what they did to clean it up in terms of specifics on that or um, you know what kind of process went into that, but the surround sound really gives it a nice deep feel to the music. Conversations are more uh, in tune and, and more balanced. The center speaker really pops here, so you get a much better experience with this new 5.1 track than the previous 5.1 track. Um, really a nice highlight, you know, not only did they do the video quality, but they've upgraded the audio as well. A lot of times you get one or the other. Um, it's no Dolby Atmos just because of, you know, the films from 1978, the, the elements in the audio just aren't there to have a Dolby Atmos track unless it was completely redone. But this is really, really well done for a 5.1 and it is definitely a marked improvement over the previous 5.1 track. So don't, you know, don't take anything away from the fact that this looks like it has the same audio. It is a new mix, there is a lot added to it, and you're definitely going to hear the difference and definitely see the difference based on the picture quality. So overall, audio visual experience is great. Uh, much better than the Blu-ray in my opinion and a, and a must have to upgrade to this format. If you love Grease and you wanna try it out in 4K, you won't be disappointed here. Now, in terms of the packaging, obviously you're gonna get this new 40th anniversary edition slipcover. 
um, case is the same artwork. There is a digital copy included with this. In the past, in my experiences, Paramount digital copies have redeemed in 4K. Now, typically I give these away to people or I give them to friends. I just don't use the digital copies that often. So I honestly haven't checked this one yet. I had already given it away to somebody. Uh, I'll check in with them, but traditionally Paramount has allowed you to redeem in 4K. So this should be a 4K digital copy. And then you're just gonna get the Blu-ray disc. Uh, and the Blu-ray disc is what includes all the special features. And like it says, there is some new bonus content. So just real quick, um, there's the sing-along version, Remembering Greece, Greece, a Chicago story, alternate main titles, alternate endings, deleted scenes, extended scenes, Greece memories with John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John, the, uh, the moves behind the music about the uh, choreography, the Thunder Roadsters, and then there's some more stuff on this disc. I won't dive into all this, but just know that obviously some of this is from the old Blu-ray um, and it's just ported over here, but there is a few new pieces of content. So that's really cool that they added that on as well. Um, and then one thing to note, if you're looking to just get this movie, maybe you don't have 4K, there is a Blu-ray steelbook coming out. It's called the Grease Collection, I believe, 40th anniversary edition. It's going to have Grease, the new transfer, but on a Blu-ray. It's gonna have Grease 2 on Blu-ray, and it's going to have the Grease Live that they did on TV uh, about a year ago with Julianne Hough. Uh, that's gonna be on Blu-ray too, which previously was only available on DVD. Uh, so that's kind of cool if you're into the whole collection. You could pick this up and then go get the collection as well to have those other two movies, Grease 2 and Grease Live. Um, but in my opinion, if you're just looking for the best quality, uh, best audio, best video, overall just best package, this is going to run you probably $24, $25, but it's well worth the upgrade. Um, there's just so much to love about this new release from Paramount. They did a great job with it, so I highly, highly recommend it. Um, it is not going to be available until April 24th of 2018, so if you're watching this video before then, you can go ahead and pre-order it with the link down in the description that I'll leave. If you're watching this video after April 24th, I don't know what you're waiting for because you really need to have this movie if you're a 4K collector. So you can use that same link to purchase the uh, 4K on Amazon. But again, I give this a five out of five. Easily one of my favorite 4K reviews that I've done. Uh, a really great new experience. You really felt it. And I watched this with a few people, uh, including my fiance who has seen this many, many times on Blu-ray, on DVD, even back to VHS. And when we popped this in, you know, it's an entirely new experience and she seconds that. Um, it just looks much better. There are things you didn't notice before in the audio, things you didn't see in the background before because of the improved picture quality or, or little quirks here and there. So a really cool new viewing experience, which is what the 4K format should be all about. And Paramount nailed it with this release. All right, guys, so that is about it for this video. Um, one thing to note here, if you want to subscribe, definitely remember to turn on those notifications, hit the bell in the corner. That lets you know when I put a new video out there. Uh, I'm also going to ask you if you could follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. I have some great conversations with people over there about movies and collecting, and I post a lot of great content. So those links will be down in the description as well. Make sure to follow me, say hi. I try to get back to everybody. Uh, and if you have any questions or anything at all about collecting or about 4K or, or even the Blu-ray format and home theater setups, I can help you out with that. So definitely send me a message. Um, I am also going to leave a link to donate to my channel down in the description. So some people do Patreon where they'll charge you 4 or $5 a month. And by paying that $5, you get extra content or you get to see things that other people don't or you get Q&As with the person. I just personally don't want to block anybody from viewing this content. So if you don't have the $5 a month to give, you know, I don't want you to have to pay to see one of my reviews. So instead what I'm going to do is I have the PayPal donation button. It goes directly to me. It goes directly towards this channel, buying Blu-rays, buying equipment, uh, all that kind of stuff that you need to run a YouTube channel like this goes directly towards that. And rather than blocking your content behind a paywall, if you can give me $20, then just donate through PayPal. If you can give me $2, you can donate through PayPal. Whatever you want to give, whatever you feel like you can give, you can. And if you can't give anything, that's fine. You're still gonna be able to view this content. I don't wanna put it behind a paywall. That's important to me. 
So uh, I appreciate anything that you may want to donate, but certainly don't feel like you have to. Uh, you're still gonna get the same great content here. Uh, and last thing, uh, this is a re-upload of a previous video. I did a grease review and there were a few things wrong with it and the video got a little screwed up. So if you're seeing this for the second time, that's why I had to re-upload, I had to reshoot this. Um, there were a couple things wrong with my setup that wasn't allowing for me to make the most accurate review. Um, a few of you guys pointed that out in the comments, so I appreciate that. Something I didn't know about while I was doing this. And so I've, I've revamped it here. Um, so if there's any confusion there, that's why. Um, but thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Share this video with your friends. Post it on Facebook. Post it on Twitter. Um, just let everybody know that it's out there. Let them know about my channel. I appreciate you all. Uh, thank you for watching. I will be back soon with another video.